There's no way we were going to sit here and offer copious amounts of sympathy to millionaire tennis players competing in appreciably lung-busting, fatigue-inducing conditions when bushfires are devastating families and destroying homes on their rampage through the more combustible areas of Victoria and Western Australia. Still, Leighton Hewitt's marathon heartbreaker at the Australian Open came on in a great scorcher. The blue jasmine court inside Rod Laver Arena shimmered in impossible heat while Hewitt was mowed down 7-6, 6-3, 5-7, 5-7, 7-5 by the 24th seeded Italian Andreas Serpian for hours of ultimately non-profitable slog. The only possible positive to emerge from the wreckage, Hewitt's schedule was cleared for his Harlem Globetrotters doubles appearance alongside Pat Rafter at 5 p.m. today. Every Grand Slam loss is tough. He croaked after blowing a match point and equaling Andre Agassi's record of 41 for the most five-setters at majors. There's no easy ones. It's frustrating. I had to try to keep fighting, find a way. Ended up one point away. Only a tennis player knows the feeling of playing in a furnace. Character traits are amplified when the mercury hits the roaring 40s. Bludgers are identified, humiliated and eliminated. Tough bastards are more likely to survive. Hewitt's strengths were expected to be the godsend. The pleasure he would derive from the pain, the obsession to prove himself the tougher man. When the mercury hit 42 degrees centigrade, Hewitt wanted 43 degrees centigrade. Forget about tournament referee Wayne McEwen's wet bulb globe temperature and the Australian Open's extreme heat policy. Hewitt would have his own policy, suck it up.